here are another pair of um, <coughs> grey Shetlands, will they? I'm assuming one's hers. She doesn't seem that keen on one. Hmm, it seems like one. There's slightly older ones here. <coughs> yeah, I would say that's not hers. Question is, whose is it? There's another Morrit down there that it could be. She's lamb. It looks like she should lamb. <laughs> she was really the only candidate for that lamb. It's a bit confusing. Decided it might be hers now. Check the bum. Mm, no, she's still not convinced. The little lamb just um, on the left there was just running around the yard, so I'm just wondering if he's, he or she was the first to be born. And she's kind of forgotten that he's there because he'd run off. Which isn't ideal. There isn't another you that it could be. Which is the confusing thing. So I'm missing a you somewhere. <clears throat> no, there isn't. Except for her, but she doesn't appear to have lambed. She has, she's very, very clean. I can't see what she's standing with, to be honest. The wool's gone quite patchy, and it's not the easiest colour to see purple or orange on. Fairly confident that is actually her lamb. And pen them together, I think. So here we've got three of the uh, Welsh gilts that we've got at the moment. We're sort of half tempted to keep one of them for breeding, but we're also in a slightly tricky scenario that we've got quite a big demand for our pork. Um, so we might have to um, not keep one, although I'd quite like to keep one, we'll see how that goes. Um, but these will be next month's batch hopefully, or part of the next month's batch. Um, at the moment they're just digging over what will be our veg garden. We did have a bit of a dry stone wall along it which they decided to break up and spread all along the, the soil. Um, <coughs> it's only a little one, Sid so built it I think last year or the year before. Um, Gilt just saying hello to one of the sows. <coughs> but yeah, essentially we're going to hope to plant a little bit of veg here in the next... Well, hopefully we'll start in the next few days, really. Um, I'm hoping they'll just kind of clean some of this up a bit for me. Make it a bit easier. I think we'll probably plant potatoes here, uh, or at least some, and then... Hoping to do some veg beds, actually, so... I'm kind of contemplating a sort of a semi-no-dig approach, although... Obviously with the pigs that's not quite true I suppose but um, but yeah that's kind of the plan eventually so anyway we'll probably give them another day here and then we'll probably move them over to the other side I think 
um, I need to dig that area over there. Um, need to move the logs as well. Um, yeah. This little guy, or guy yet, I'm not sure which one is it. Okay. Ooh, stop wriggling. Good lord, it's a grey guy hat. Seems to keep escaping. Let's tie this up with a bit of string, I think. I hope that the stops getting out with it. I'm pretty sure it might be getting out of the gap in the bus. This is a bit awkward. Oh, here we go again. Because the lamb keeps escaping, the ewe keeps thinking it isn't hers, even though it is. Which is really quite annoying at this point. So, there's 16 ewes up there. I think we've lost a couple. They're over three fields at the moment, which um, is a little bit awkward, but just gives them more option of choosing the very best grass at the moment. <sighs> Hopefully there's another two views down here. They're not in the other field. Hopefully they're lambs as well. One. A lamb. Ah, two with a lamb. That's fine. Just going to make sure they're okay, but that's what they are. Fence pushes over there actually that I've left here to repair this fence because it's a bit pumped. But you can see I've put a few in there. Um, but it's quite stony actually, it's quite hard to get them in. But um, to come back and have a better go at some point because there's not a lot left to some of these fence posts. Well, I've not many of these fence posts actually. This ewe's, um, well we found her outside today, she um, she basically buggered off and found a, a quiet little corner and she'd struggled to lamb this lamb, he's a big lad and it, his head had started to swell a bit where it had taken a while I think, but, um, so we had to give her a bit of a hand but um, she's kind of getting there now, She's just seems a bit worn out so she hasn't got the most energy really, but hopefully she'll do alright so we'll see how she gets on. Starting to clean a lamb up. So keep an eye on her for the next sort of hour or so. Make sure everything's going as it should be. So about well, maybe 15, 20 minutes old this lamb. In fact it's up and starting to look for a place to feed, although he hasn't quite found it yet. Well, sheep are slightly unusual in that you don't run around the outside of them. You know, you don't get behind them to move them, you get in front of them. So Sid's just running and they are literally just following him. Nah. 
Okay, so it's Friday the 27th of March. Don't think I've done a great deal of filming, if any, today, to be honest. Um, we've had six used lamb, um, five singles, one set of twins. Um, pulled, well, I pulled two of the singles. One of my neighbours helped with one of the used because I was really struggling with it and um, it just was, it wasn't normal really um, it was really dry and um, yeah the lamb was dead unfortunately so um, that used just sort of penned on her own at the moment just recovering um, but the rest are all good so we've got um, four single lambs today with use and then one set of twins literally just born um, Okay, so we're just putting some wood chips down for a bit of a path through the veg garden at the moment. In the winter especially, it gets really muddy really quickly. So A, it protects the soil so it doesn't erode. And B, it will, um, it will really help with us um, having somewhere clean to walk. And eventually we will make an effort to plant some veg in here. It's a bit of a work in progress at the moment. It has been for years now, but um, we do periodically plant veg in it in the summer. Hopefully this year we'll try a little bit harder, um, but yeah, we'll see how we get on. We'll make the path the width of the gate eventually, but we've only got a little bit of wood chip. So, one of our uh, Welsh gilts that uh, she's nearly finished really, so she'll be going for me soon. Uh, the only problem is her and her sisters <coughs> have got out again, so they should be over there. You can see, shockingly, they've been quite destructive, as usual. So they decided rather than doing the job I want them to do, which is just turn over and plough a small section of my veg garden at a time, they have decided to get out again and just looch about doing not very much, which is all well and good, except for now I'm going to have to do the veg garden myself they're not really getting the job done which is slightly irritating so playing with all my plastic tanks Hello. good girl good girl you're all right well done i don't really mind they're not really doing any harm and they're definitely having fun which is obviously good for them but um I kind of wanted to plant veg in here in the next few days, or at least make a start. Plant some potatoes and stuff. So really, not going to be massively keen on them getting out then. So I'm going to have to think of something slightly better to do with them. I'm just not quite sure what that is yet. But um, here's the start of a wood chip path that they seem to be mooching on, randomly digging up at the moment, which is good of them. But um, it will hopefully form a path right down the middle, and then we'll plant either side of it. We might even have little... The plan is to eventually have no dig beds, so compost up on top of untouched soil, um, probably cardboard then compost, and um, then we'll have wood chip around those beds. I'm struggling to get compost a bit this year, so I'm not quite sure how much I'm going to get done, but we'll see how we get on. Anyway, we'll put these girls back to their pen, hopefully. So I've just put the, um, the pigs back in. Well, not back in, they've never been here before. So it's a pen we've got just off the veg garden. You can see it's um, it's got grass in it, which probably won't last long with them. But um, that's absolutely fine. We we're going to make it a pig pen later in the year anyway, because you can see we've got a start of another pig house, which is a cut down railway carriage. It's kind of part done. If I can find some wood, wherever it's closed. Um, if I can find some wood, I'll try to get on it in the next few, well, next week or two. Um, but you see the girls are enjoying the space and they have still got their, their hutch for sleeping in um, which they're quite used to it's actually quite nice for them and it's light enough that we can move it a lot so when they're younger they're pretty contained in hurdles um, <laughs> at this point they only get contained in the hurdles if they want to be contained so um, quite happy to see some stock fence around them I think but you see they've got a nice big pen um, so they'll be absolutely fine here for the next kind of uh, well, a few days until I decide what to do. I might just keep them in here, although I wouldn't mind sorting the pig house out, so maybe I won't. But uh, we'll think of something slightly better to do with them soon.
So hopefully you're enjoying the videos at the moment. Um, I'm, I guess a lot of you are going to have a bit more time in your hands and be at home a bit more. So maybe you get to watch our videos a little bit more. Maybe try to do some extra ones. So if you um, if you subscribe and uh, do the notification bell, you will get the notifications as and when the videos come up. Thanks very much.